Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create non-standard bend exceeding 45 degrees up to 90 degrees elbow rivet family. And I will refer those dimensions in the picture to create the parameter. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. There are DN300 to DN2200. I will use this formula for default do not found. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select pipe fitting for family category and select elbow for part type. Set and select the class number. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 1220 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for CE. Select instance and click OK. Go to create and select the reference line. Create a reference line from intersection point to 60 degrees. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert angle dimension and add parameter for angle. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the reference line and mirror to opposite side. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference line. Offset 1220 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to CE. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Select the reference line. Select the rotate and copy. Place on intersection point and rotate to 40 degrees. Insert angle dimension and add parameter for angle 1. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 915 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for R. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference line and create similar. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert angle dimension and assign parameter to angle 1. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Select the reference line. Select the rotate and copy. Place on intersection point and rotate to 25 degrees. Select the reference line and mirror to opposite side. Insert angle dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for angle 2. Select instance and click OK. Select the reference line and mirror to opposite side. Insert angle dimension and assign parameter to angle 1. Go to family type. Add formula for angle 1 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for angle 2 parameter and click apply. Check and play the angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference line and create similar. Align to the reference line and lock it. Insert angle dimension. 
select the dimension and assign parameter to angle 2. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference line. Create similar and lock to reference plane. Insert angle dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to angle 2. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Create similar and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Insert radius dimension and add parameter for outer radius. Select instance and click OK. Finish the sweep. Go to reference level. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw center and arc and lock to reference plane. Insert angle dimension and assign parameter to angle. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Edit profile in 3D view. Draw a circle. Finish the sweep. Go to family type. Check and play the angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 700 mm for nominal diameter value as default. Add a new parameter for nominal radius. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for nominal radius parameter. And click apply. Add a new parameter for outer diameter. Select instance and click OK. Click on manage lookup table. Import the CSV file. Add a new parameter for lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. Keep type and click OK. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV file name. Add formula for outer diameter parameter. And click apply. Add formula for outer radius parameter. And click apply. Add formula for CE parameter. And click apply. Add formula for R parameter. And click apply. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Click apply and OK. Select geometry and off visible parameter. Go to visibility graphic override. Off dimension and reference line. Save the family. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on work plane. 
select pipe connector and assign to nominal diameter parameter. Select fitting for system classification. Select pipe connector. Associate angle parameter to angle. Let test the family in the project. Insert and load this family into project. Select the pipe and go to edit type. Check and set routing preference setting. OK, non-standard bend elbow family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.